Lou Rocket Views here, bringing to you Fallout New Vegas Part 3, I at least, I believe so. I'm not really sure. Can't really remember. Well, anyways, I just completed the tutorial. Now, oh, why is this guy walking? What you doing? Oh, you're just going into your... Is that your home? You cannot possibly tell me that that is... This can't be your home. Is, is that your... Who are you? Hey. Hello? Can you, you help Martin me? Martin Thorne? I don't remember who this person is. Well, uh, what's wrong? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge. And I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. I think I know who this is. Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. Hmm, should I do this now? Sure, I'll do it now. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. Oh, yeah, there's this. Is that 9mm? Yep. Well, I was hoping there would be some uh, quest to do really quick to uh, gain a little bit of XP. Well, here it is. Well, anyways, as I was saying uh, last part, I needed to uh, get to level f 4. Is that what I want to get to? Level 3, 4? I can't remember. Killed one gecko. There's going to be some more geckos up here. This is the quest, right? Yep. This is the quest I'm thinking of. Yeah. Oh, I have the wrong quest activated. Wrong quest. Oh, I didn't complete it yet. I need to talk to Trudy. Well, I'll talk to Trudy in just a little bit. Uh, I'll finish this one really quick. Is there a way to unselect it? I don't see... Oh. Oh well. This is an unmarked quest, apparently. I just have to go up this way. There's going to be some, uh, geckos. I kill them. And then, uh, up there, I'll totally find his, uh, girlfriend or whatever. His lady friend. His wife. I don't know. There's going to be, like, very little XP. And a few items. Oh, where? Who? Ah! Ah! Nope, nope. Was not expecting you to. Nope, 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 nope. Ah! Man, my aim was terrible. What the heck? My aim was like. <laughs> oh, got the level up. All right, finally. Ah, oh, level three, that's what I want. Okay, so level three. 55? Is that what I want? Well, I really want 60. Hmm. Should I start going in the next one? Next one I want is, uh. I think it's either lockpick or signs. Can't remember. Well, you know what? Put one in each. So if I read a magazine, I will have that. Uh, I'll put the rest in speech. Because why not? Hmm. Yeah. That way I have lockpick and signs where I want them. Yep. There we go. Got that level up taken care of. Now... Is there any more going to try to ambush me? Oh, I didn't get hit at all when those geckos attacked me. All right, sweet. Oh, there's another gecko. No, there's two. There's two of them. One is just... They can hover in the air, apparently. Nope. Ah! 
The guy decided to ambush me! Well... That... That went according to plan. So anyways, what this quest was basically... Well, this unmarked quest was... Uh, his, his girlfriend or whatever is up there, but turns out the girlfriend was was dead and just wanted to kill me But he turned up earlier than he was supposed to so Yeah, I killed him. I I burned through a ton of ammo there. So basically this unmarked quest was uh, Just an ambush uh, there. There is stuff up here. But uh, there is no uh, girl or lady friend or whatever I was supposed to rescue. Just a bunch of corpses of other people he tricked to go up here. But at least there's a camera that I'm not going to take. All right, now I'm going to go over to Trudy and talk to her. So as I was walking back to Trudy, I found Cheyenne, the dog of... Uh, I can't remember her name, but I found Cheyenne... The dog of that one character did the tutorial, uh, Apparently Cheyenne is... Um... Stuck? Trapped? Wanna talk? No. Apparently Cheyenne lives right here. So now that I'm walking back to Trudy, I'm gonna say what Jerry has been thinking all this time. See, now, Jerry got those implants. So Jerry feels a little bit stronger. Jerry just need to figure out how to be better at shooting in combat. Because he knew he knew that uh, somehow he wasn't good enough. And that's how he almost died. So before he can find out who his killer was and where his killer is, he needs to uh, get better at combat. So he wants to do all this stuff. These people... That was some interesting dropping of graphics. Anyways, he wants to get better at uh, killing. Well, at, better at fighting, not killing, really. Get better at fighting so that uh, he can survive the encounter of finally meeting uh, his killer. Well, his would-be killer. Anyways, let's see what Trudy's up to. done being nice if you don't hand Ringo over soon I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground got it we'll keep that in mind now if you're not gonna buy something get out what the hell is your problem oh, wait, wait, watch this watch no, 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 no. oh he ran too fast I should have like blocked him well you've been causing quite a stir glad I finally got to meet you welcome to the prospector saloon oh thank you uh, I've always uh, wanted to meet you and stuff. Uh, I overheard your argument. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. All right, so, uh... Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? Oh, what are you going to do? How about that one? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Ooh, so who the heck are the powder gangers? Chain gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. <laughs> it was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. This is so stupid. Hey, you know what? Let's get a bunch of criminals and make them do some jobs for us. And uh, some of the jobs require some mining, so let's give them some dynamite. <laughs> Great idea. All right. So anyways, this is a, I believe it's Ghost Town Gunfight quest. 
I can either side with Cobb and the Powder Gangers and kill everyone in this town. Or I can side with Ringo and help out everyone in this town and defend them from the Powder Gangers. Um, either way, I still have Good Springs as a place to go. Uh, however, a lot of really cool characters will die and this place will be overrun with Powder Gangers. Or I could just wipe out the Powder Gangers. As such, I should probably figure out who the Power Gangers really are first. Because maybe they are really good people, or maybe they really are horrible, really dumb criminals. So, uh, I'm going to activate the quest now, so where is Ringo? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Alright. How about, uh, why not kill Cobb? You mean murder him? That's yeah. not our way. Even if Cobb is scum, he can bluster and threaten all he wants. Well, never mind then. All right. Uh, I think there's something about like uh, fixing her radio. Where is that? Well, I'll I'll talk talk to her about like the robot then. Jerry might as well figure out uh, who the heck was this killer. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Ah. <laughs> I don't care about your radio. I do care about the radio. I want to fix it. Uh, did my attackers say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Go on. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. Uh, so where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. All right. So, let's see here. Interesting and rest and uh, blah, blah, blah. Well, let's uh, see if we can take a look at the broken radio. Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. <laughs> Sadly, Mr. New Vegas, uh, I can't have that in the recordings uh, in any of my videos because it'll be flagged. So that's lovely. Mr. New Vegas is pretty cool, though. The guy who voiced it is awesome. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh, the robot. Tell me about the robot. Where is where is that? Tell, yeah. Do anything about the robot that rescued Jerry? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. Um, what does he actually do around here? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. Um, you don't like him? It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. Yeah, well, it is a robot. Well, how long has he been in good spirits? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Hmm. Interesting. Well. Fine. That's enough talking to her. Um, I could, like, see what she has to sell, but she just... She's a bartender. She only has, like, stuff that a bar would sell. Um. Well, let's go. She's going to leave because it's night time. So af after I fix the radio, I'll have to wait until it's day, daytime. But the radio is very simple. It's, you only need very little repair. Yeah, 20 repair. Easily have that. 
Yay. And I'll turn it off. <laughs> um, now I just have to uh, wait for Trudy to come back. Apparently Trudy's bar opens around 10 a.m., which uh, doesn't sound very bar-like. Oh, it's Sunny Smiles. That's her name. Hey there. And Cheyenne found her way back to her. That's great. Well, anyways, uh, let's talk to Trudy about uh, fixing her radio. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. I fixed your radio. Where's that? Yeah, I fixed your radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. All right. Oh, my water's not that high. Oh, well. Well, thanks for the caps. You're welcome. So can I get you anything? Um, goodbye. Be careful out there. All right, so Jerry, now that he's uh, been tasked with trying to save Good Springs or destroy Good Springs, he doesn't know what to do. He just knows for sure the first thing he needs to do is get better at fighting. He's already learned a little bit about fighting some geckos, and he dealt with an ambush with some guy, but he's not good enough in his opinion. So, what Jerry's going to do is he's going to stock up on some more ammo because he already used a ton of it just to kill a few geckos. And then he's going to go to a place that he heard rumors of. Just like he heard rumors of a, a place, uh, what is it, uh, New New Vegas Medical Clinic that could help improve him overall. So now that I stocked up on some ammo, I'm going to head over to... Uh, the mysterious place that Jerry heard about. So, those of you who have played Fallout New Vegas before should recognize where I'm going and already figured out well before this part of the video is playing that uh, I'm heading to the Boomers. That is a place uh, over here. Now, I'm going to show you very easily a way to get in there without getting hurt. But let's talk to George here. Whoa there, pal. You better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Boomer territory. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment. Ooh, what is this investment? Uh, you could tell me, or you could tell the underside of my boot. <laughs> Let's do that. Whoa, simmer down. I'll tell you, <laughs> I'm a gambler and a scavenger. I've made some cash from gambling and some cash from reclaiming goods that are no longer being used. Now, do you want my help or not? I like how he's like, whoa, simmer down. <laughs> whoa, simmer down. That's funny. Anyways, um, hmm. Thanks for the warning. What's going on past those signs? Oh, lordy, lordy. You haven't heard of the boomers? What rock have you been living under? There are a bunch of artillery. Well, Jerry has heard about it. He's just playing dumb. Jobs, camping out in Nellis. Wander into their territory, and you're as good as mincemeat. Is there a way of get, to get past? Hmm? There is a way, hmm? and I'll tell you for a little wager. Ah, see, this is what I was waiting for. Wager, let's hear it. Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. Well, now here's the thing. I could do, th if I had 40 bar, I could do this, but I won't make that much money. <laughs> uh, what you really want to do is uh, do the normal one. And you want to have 60 speech. That's what you really want to do. Uh, so pay 300 cash. Okay, here you go. That page has the details, but it's all in the timing as you move from building to building. I'll be here watching, so I'll know if you've made it to the gate or not. Remember, there's 600 caps in it if you make it. All right, 600 caps. Not really 600. 300 caps. I get 300 caps back, and then I get 300 bonus caps. All right, I'm going to do a quick save before I do this next part. Now, I could just read the thing he gave me, but it's very simple, okay? Uh, they're going to, the boomers will start shooting mortars like crazy. As soon as you get, uh, well, between this cactus and that 
broken down car somewhere in between there is when they start shooting that's when they're they're uh what you'll get a warning fire shot and then they'll actually start shooting once you get past the car uh, but it's not that hard let me show you there's a warning shot Right here, stay crouched. There's a chance that you might get hurt, but it won't kill you. Um, some of the cars nearby might explode though. Yep, that was a car, a car, a car exploding there nearby. Oh, geez, that was a car blowing up over there. Oh, gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. As soon as they stop shooting. You come over to this one and do the same thing. There's just enough time to wait in between this the shelling for you to get to the next shelter. Uh, there won't be another shelter after this. Oh, another car blew up. All I have to do is just uh, run to the fence. As soon as I get to the fence, they stop shooting. Oh, yeah. oh, almost done. One more shell. That was the last one. Gotta go. Oh, 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 oh. Don't get hit by anything. Once I get to that fence, I'm clear. Yep, there we go. Now you just run over here. I see there's that guy over there. They'll start talking through the fence. I, I love how, like, you can't really see their faces because the fence gets in the way and stuff. But here we go. And hold it right there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? <laughs> How did you survive that bombardment? Uh, I could say uh, this and be mean. Uh, I'll, I'll be nice. Who's in charge here? I'm not telling you a thing, Savage. Oh, Move that's really nice. And I'll blow you to pieces. I didn't come to attack you. Then just, just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, <laughs> Master of Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. Well, all right. Lead the way. Follow close and mind your behavior. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. Ooh. <laughs> I like how she's been waiting five years for someone to visit, but they just shoot anyone who tries to visit. So, uh, <laughs> let's pretend that I wasn't being shot at. Uh, how might I be of assistance? Oh, no, no, I like this last one. I like a prophecy or something? Prophecy? Do we look like a bunch of religious idiots? <laughs> I just hope to savage. Outsider, sorry. Would make it to our gates before one of those armies out there comes knocking. That's right, child. Mother Pearl knows a storm is gathering. Times are changing. Maybe time for us to change a little too. Now this is the first uh, Jerry is hearing of this, this upcoming war. He's like, wait, there's a war that might be coming? Hmm. Well, he figured he might as well assist them since they have a ton of firepower. Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sav uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. All right. Um, how can we trust each other if you're going to keep s be keeping secret? I like that one. Let's go with that. You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion okay, that was a the TMI. The world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance. Patrolling robots, soldiers. My youngers think our guns can keep out the world. But I think we need to let it in just a little or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. All right. 
Well, where does Jerry start? You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. Hey. Hello. All right. So, we started Volare. Or Vol Vol Volare. Or however you pronounce that. All right. Now, I know there's some special thing here. Right around here. Um, but I don't want to get it just yet. Uh, what I do want is to do one of the quests here. Oh, that's the person I wanted to talk to, too. Let me say real quick. All right, so Raquel has a quest. Raquel! Mother Raquel. Cross instructions are clear. You can move freely around Nellis, and artillery spotters have orders not to fire on you. Oh, These are extraordinary wonderful. privileges. Don't abuse them. Uh, so, he, Mother Pearl said something about a bug problem? Long story short, the power failed a few days ago because giant ants have tunneled into the generator room and set up a nest. I led a team down to exterminate them, but there were so many of them. We lost. Two killed, three wounded. Personally, I think it's more than a savage can handle. But if you want to kill those ants and switch the power back on, feel free. Um, hmm. Let's do, I can handle a few ants. Sure, anyone can. But there's more than a few down there. See for yourself. But one other thing. The ants must be eating gunpowder from the munitions down there. Or something. They exploded when hit by a flamethrower. One of us was using a laser pistol. Same thing. Bullets seem okay. Just don't hit the artillery shells. Loyal's been working on some kind of weapon to use against them. Maybe you should check with him. Ah, see, that's part of why I wanted the speech. Hey. So I could go talk to Loyal. Where's Loyal? I believe Loyal would be, well, since it's daytime, Loyal will be in one of these two warehouses. So let's go talk to Loyal. Okay, it's not a warehouse, it's a hangar. They're hangers. Because this is Air Force Base. My bad. Oh, I found Loyal. Look, Loyal. Loyal. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. Um, um, look. Oh, Raquel said you were working on some kind of weapon to fight the giant ants. I started building a sonic emitter that might do the trick, but it's useless without knowing the exact frequency that would kill the ants. Ah. Think of it as a field test, field test, a trial run. See, it's page 50, that's why I wanted that. If you're willing to take the risk, be my guest. I've got it set to broadcast a powerful signal at 24,000 hertz. Just place it near their nest and cross your fingers. Signal's too high for people to hear, so no harm done. But it might make you feel sick to your stomach. All right, there we go. Got the sonic emitter. To make things a little bit easier. Oh, there's Jack. I could talk to him again and get the next mission. Um, but I don't feel like doing the next mission just yet. All I want is to just complete at least one quest at the Boomers for now. I want to complete the Boomers entire quest line a little bit later. This quest though, this first quest is the most important because of what it brings. So right here, this is uh, the energy place they were talking about that needs to be gleaned of ants. Now there are two entrances to the Nellis uh, array. There's this one, and there's one on the other side as well. Yeah, here's the other door over here. Now, I believe this one is the front entrance. I wanna go in the back entrance. So we'll go to the other one. You know it's the back entrance if you get into a subway-like tunnel? There will be a couple of ants, though, in the way. Yeah, 
Using hollow point ammo actually does help kill them faster. Because I don't think they have any armor. Well, any damage threshold to speak of. Now, one thing you have to be careful of is this right here. If you accidentally shoot these, you will blow up well, almost everything and die instantly. So make sure these don't get hit ever. Now, with that emitter, you want to go over to this pile right here and place it somewhere on the top. Oh, yep. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, I placed it. There we go. And as soon as you activate it, every ant will die. And just like that, I have killed every ant in the entire facility. Be sure to pick up this uh, unique grenade rifle. And uh, to complete the quest, you have to, uh, I believe, flip a lever somewhere around here. Yep, this one. And this one. And there's one more lever up there to flip. But uh, first, there's some, uh, there's some things you can loot over here. So up these stairs, here's the final switch. And now everyone in Nellis Air Force Base has power. Now the real reason I wanted to do this quest was because of this. And this. Right here, I got the Marksman's Carbine and the Assault Carbine. The non-GRA version of the Assault Carbine, which is a better version of the Assault Carbine. Now the assault carbine has a it is affected by the grunt grunt perk. The GRA version of it is not affected by it. That's why this is better, and it's free, and you can get it basically as early as you possibly can in the game, along with the marksman carbine, which is basically the all-American only slightly less damage. So right at the beginning of the game, you have two really good guns. Now, there is one third thing as to why I wanted to do this quest. I, there's, you only need to do one quest to get the next part, which I'll show you in just a little bit. Just to let you know, normally if you're trying to find Raquel, she'll be right on top of this area right here. But right now she's walking away from it, it looks like, so... Yep, it was Raquel. Hey. Let's talk to Raquel. I see the power's back on. The ants are all dead? Yes. Maybe Pearl is right about you. Because I don't know how you pulled that off. I'll tell Loyal to send someone down to clear out the eggs and repair the generators. Good work. Ah, now this is the reason why I wanted to do that quest. There's other ways of doing that. Just finish any quest for the boomers and you get that. Just to get accepted with the boomers. I don't need to get any further than that for what I wanted to do. Oh, is that enough for four? Yes! Well, let's do level four level up real quick then. Hurry up, come on. Yes. Now let's get the speech up to 60. And let's get lockpick, I think, heading on up. Yeah, let's get lockpick up first. Then science. Yeah. That's a good plan. Um, and for the perk, obviously. Educated. Definitely educated. That's the one I want right now. Comprehension. Yeah, comprehension is for the skill books. Educated gives an extra two points uh, for to for uh, skill point allocation every level up. So uh, it's actually very, very useful. Very powerful. Done. So the reason I want to be accepted it's going to be right in the mess hall ammunition storage. That is, if uh, they're there, it might be too late. It looks like it's nighttime. Is it nighttime? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it nighttime? Um. Yes, it's it's nighttime. Well, that's lovely. Um. Oh wait! No, it's not too late. This is the guy, the Bo Boomer Munitions Manager. Yeah? 
Yeah. Could I buy some spare munitions? Sure. Pearl gave the green light. Take a look at the manifest. Now, this guy is one of the only places you can buy one of the most important things to have in, uh, well, the, the early game. Oh, here it is. This is an aid. Weapon repair kits. This is the most effective and efficient way to repair your weapons, which you will definitely want, especially in an early game. Now, normally, when I want to stock up on weapon repair kits, if I didn't want to cheat, I would just wait three days, come back to this guy, buy some more repair kits. However, he only sells about one to three or so every go, and sometimes he doesn't sell them at all. It's not a very uh, efficient way of doing it, and it takes quite some time to get all the weapon repair kits for, for what I want. Especially since I got, well, I got a lot of weapons now. This is all from just that one haul. Although just 10 millimeter is left over from uh, that Thor Thornton guy or whatever that tried to ambush me. This was on top of that hill. Decided to keep just in case. But I don't need it anymore. I have my assault carbine. So uh, I'm going to sell the rest of this. But you see the assault carbine and marksman carbine, they're both quite damaged. I mean, Stay, stay, stay there. Okay. I wanted to move my mouse over, but if you look over there, you see CND. Right underneath the the DAM and the DPS, right? Right there. It shows you kind of like a bullet shell. Now, all of it, the highlighted part of it, is how much uh, is left of the gun that is in working order. Basically, what percentage of the gun is still functional. Uh, the higher that is, more, more more of that bullet shell is highlighted, the more damage the gun has and more reliable the gun has. So right now, this gun isn't doing that much. However, it should be doing this much. You see the DPS? 104. This DPS, is well, its damage is 6, with a DPS of 74. See? That's how much damage is done to this gun. I want the weapon repair kits to put that back up, Marksman Carbine, same thing. This could be really, really good. Both of these guns are very, very good. The Marksman Carbine and its unique variant, the All-American, are some of the best DPS weapons in the game. However, I prefer the Assault Carbine still, mainly because uh, it doesn't have a zoom-in feature. The, this zoom-in feature. I really don't... I can't see what's going on around me. Uh, I can't see around me. I can't see around me. I can't see that guy. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to notice him. A little bit frustrating. Although right now, I'm not going to be that good with the Marksman Carbine because, as you see there, there's a 100 next to some three bullets above the damage uh, and DPS. That right there is saying what the requirement is in skill and guns I should have in order to be able to use this gun properly. Basically, how well my aim will be. Um, as you see here, I, I am not moving my mouse. I'm not moving an inch, okay? It is shaking on its own volition because I don't have a hundred guns yet. So it's going all over the place. That's basically what that is. Same thing with uh, the STR, if you see that over the VAL, V-A-L, which is how much the gun is technically worth in this condition. But the strength, that's the strength requirement. If my strength was at three, but I had 100 guns, I would have the exact same effect going on. However, I have plenty of strength, so I shouldn't have to worry about that. I just need 100 guns. Uh, Salt Carbine, on the other hand, I need 75. So, uh, same thing with GRA, right? Yeah. That's why it's not ex the spread is a bit crazy. The spread is really bad anyways in the first place for an automatic weapon. But uh, it's a little bit worse because I, I don't have 75 guns yet. Which I should remedy in future episodes. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Instead of just uh, having a bunch of weapon repair kits, like farming them... I'm just going to 
put in a console command and get a whole bunch of weapon repair kits. I'm about like 30 or 40 of them because it's seriously, I just, it's wasted time to just constantly be farming for them for like uh, 20 or 30 minutes when I could just type it in for 10 seconds. And here is uh, the item code. You should see it on the bottom left. There, there is a, uh, there's the entire code and everything. There we go, 40 weapon repair kits. In case you were wondering how weapon repair kits work, what you do is you equip the item, all right? Equip the weapon, sorry. Equip the weapon. It has that box right there, okay? Right now, the assault carbine GRA is equipped, but now is the regular assault carbine, which I do want repaired. Now to repair it, I go to aid, select a weapon repair kit, and it should have repaired at least a little bit of the assault carbine. Yep, it went up a little bit. Sadly, my repair skill is very, very low. Let me show the repair skill really quick. Yeah, see, it's at 24. So it's only going to repair it by a little bit. However, there is no max cap. This is Fallout 3 where you can only repair so much of your armor and weapons. In uh, Fallout New Vegas, you it, it just depends on how much you can repair with how little. So still have the salt carbine there and I can repair it. Now that these guns are fully repaired, we can look at what the damage should be. DPS is 104 and 9 damage per bullet on the Assault Carbine. Whereas in the Marksman Carbine, is a damage of 16 per bullet with a DPS of 103. These numbers, however, can change based upon what ammo type I use. And I happen to have almost every ammo type for each gun. Let me go over the ammo types really quick. As you see here, the Assault Carbine uses 5mm rounds. 5mm rounds automatically have a, a damage threshold piercing effect. Automatically standard. Uh, however, there's also hollow points, which what they do is instead it multiplies the target's damage threshold. So if they have a damage threshold of 0, you don't have to worry about it. And it automatically applies a 75% damage boost. Which is why you want to use the hollow point rounds, as I said earlier, with the ants. They don't have any damage threshold. Most animals don't have any damage threshold, so hollow point rounds are a very good idea to have. However, that doesn't apply to death claws. They have, I think, damage threshold of 15. Uh, don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. There's also armor piercing, which does 25. It subtracts 25% from the damage threshold. However, it does take 5% off the normal damage. So it's it's still rather effective, especially against highly armored targets. And then of course, I was able to luckily find this at uh, the Gun Runners, where they have a surplus ammo for the 5mm, which is just fantastic. It uh, It's just a regular 5mm round, but it does a 15% damage boost. Uh, it, makes the gun spread worse however not so good and it does uh make the gun condition of it does uh what is it it makes the gun get worse a lot worse a lot faster in use when you shoot than it would with normal regular five millimeter bullets but the 15 percent uh damage boost is actually quite handy at least i think in my opinion especially for really uh really powerful targets you can have this extra damage boost and still have uh an armor piercing effect very handy as you see here there's the same thing for uh the 5.56 millimeter rounds which is what my marksman carbine uses that's why it's highlighted right now i just equipped it and basically it's the same thing however there is no automatic uh armor piercing effect most bullets don't have that um, so no armor piercing effect whatsoever just normal bullet uh, the armor piercing version of it only does a minus 15 to damage threshold not the standard 10 I believe the 5 millimeter does yeah not the standard 10 so you got to keep that in mind um, and the hollow point rounds are the same as the 5 millimeter hollow point rounds one thing to keep in mind is that in 5.56 uh, 
millimeter rounds. You can also have the two, two, three rounds, 22, three rounds. I, I'm, I'm not familiar with uh, ammo types that much, but uh, somehow this smaller chambered bullet, I'm assuming it's a smaller chambered bullet. Maybe it's a bigger chambered bullet, but uh, I'm assuming 223, .223 is smaller than 5.56. I'm assuming, <laughs> according to what math I know. Um, I could be completely wrong. It could be based on a completely different uh, metric system or a different measurement system altogether. But I'm assuming 223 is smaller and uh, somehow it can still fit in the, the chamber, the gun chamber. Uh, fit in the chamber in the gun. There we go. Word it properly there. <laughs> the chamber in the gun properly. And uh, it, it it is kind of realistic here. It, if it's a smaller chambered bullet, it shouldn't damage the gun as much. So and see there, it says 80%. So it won't damage the gun condition-wise. And I'll do 10% less damage because the bullet is a little bit smaller. So I, I like to buy these because these are actually some of the cheapest bullets you can get for a 5.56 uh, gun. And uh, if it's an enemy that doesn't have that much hit points, this is a really good alternative to use to, to save on... Uh, the gun condition uh, if I was using my marksman carbine okay there's one more thing I wanted to do or well, Jerry wants to do really quick and that is to go over to Camp McCarran now when heading to Camp McCarran it it's good to head this way remember that fiend farming spot just head that same exact way I, I think the fiends haven't respawned yet no they haven't okay well, let me show you this thing really quick. Let me take out the marksman carbine. If you want to change ammo types, you can either do it with the pip boy, and you just select the ammo type. I'm going to select 223. All right, and there you go, selected. Or you could press two. Now, here's the thing about like the favorite system. If you want to favorite any of the items, you press the button for that. Well, one of the numbers, okay. But one number you can't press is two. All right, let me put the marksman combat button on uh, four here. There we go. Now, as you noticed, it was selected. The reason why was because if you press it, that's how you change ammo types without going into the pip boy. It says what the ammo type is on the bottom and you can do it that way. Uh oh. Who sees me? Oh, it's a fiend. There's some fiends. Oh, he just threw a grenade. He just threw a grenade. Run away. Oh, jeez. Ah, what? Grenades. How many great grenades do you have? No, no, no. Thankfully, the NCR is right here. Well, this guy was here. And he helped me kill them. Because sadly, my marksman carbine is terrible at aiming that far away because of all that sway. Now, if you sneak your way over to Camp McCarran, the NCR will just kill all the fiends for you. You won't have to worry. Unless the fiends kill them. It looks like the fiends have killed one of the NCR troopers. That's not so good. Looks like the NCR trooper just barely managed to survive. This guy. This one wasn't so fortunate. But he does have NCR money. And here we can see how much people like the NCR. Apparently the NCR is very lovable. Everyone loves the NCR. Ooh. Hey. Traitor. Hey. I can't, I can't trade with you? Mormon, the Crimson Caravan's the biggest merchant outfit in the wasteland. Apparently you're not allowed to trade with this guy. But right here is Camp McCarran. So the best way to get to Camp McCarran is to go to Cassidy Caravans, as I said before. Then you go to the Fiends route, right? And you, you hug the wall over on this side here, because this wall happens to be the wall, the outer wall to Camp McCarran. This wall, this brick wall, all the way around. 
And here is the entrance. Which is right by the Welcome New Vegas sign. Now, the only reason Jerry is here is because this is one of the only ways to get a sniper rifle at the very beginning of the game. It is free, however, there is a slight issue with this sniper rifle. It's right... Oh, ooh, look. Free skill magazines. It's right on top of this bed. Yep. Now, the problem with this sniper rifle is its condition its condition is really really bad look at that there's barely oh i forget that it won't let let me move a mouse all right the condition is absolutely deplorable it's just as bad as the marksman carbine and the assault carbine were me at the before i repaired them which is the main reason why i wanted to go to the boomer base first now i have a sniper rifle that i can repair really quickly and just like that, I now have a sniper rifle worth having. However, it doesn't have a silencer just yet. I need to uh, try to keep going over to the gun runners and eventually they will have the suppressor so I can uh, silence the sniper rifle. Which, by the way, silenced weapons are a bit bugged in this game. Some guns just won't be properly silenced, which in real life... <laughs> A silenced gun is really hard to have because you have to have not just a good suppressor, but you have to have uh, ammo that works with it as well. Uh, in in this game, obviously, they, it doesn't work that way. Along with Fallout 4 and Fallout 3, it doesn't work that way at all. However, um, the sniper rifle and uh, the unique sniper rifle that you can get from Old War Blues are one of the only two sniper rifles that I believe I know of. Yeah, I believe they're the only two weapons that I know of that have a suppressor that actually works properly. There's another one, uh, the antimaterial rifle, the most powerful single shot uh, sniper rifle in the game. Um, at least if you're using guns like I am. Uh, it, it does have a suppressor, but it doesn't work properly. Uh, the same thing goes with uh, the Rat Slayer, which can be used as an early game sniper rifle. It does; it comes with a, a suppressor, but it just doesn't work properly either. Um, it will be easily detected. Uh, using a sniper rifle with a suppressor, regular sniper rifle with a suppressor, will make it so that you're a lot less likely to be detected. You're still capable of being detected, but it's a lot less. So it came really quick to... Uh, gun runners to see if they had a suppressor for the sniper rifle and sadly they don't I also tried to see if they would have uh, well they have this anti-material rifle suppressor but they don't have uh, assault the assault carbine mods that I was looking for they have the GRA versions but not uh, the regular version there's one for an extended mag that's all I really wanted but uh, apparently they don't have it there are no mods for the Marksman Carbine. But uh, I did sell everything I didn't want. Oh wait, I didn't sell that. I don't want I don't want NZR money. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. One final thing before I go is I want to talk to George really quick. Jumping Jesus on a pogo stick. You're the first one to make it through alive, let alone manage a return trip. I believe you said you would double my money. Yep. Here are your caps. Now, this is why I wanted to have 60 speech. As you see there, now, it's a little bugged. If uh, you, uh, well, I think it's bugged. Uh, you have to have a legit 60 speech. As in, your skill is actually at 60. You could read a magazine and make it artificially 60, but the game won't ex accept it. But if I do this, do it normally with the regular 60 speech, you'll make it an extra 100 caps. You drive a hard bargain. Here you go. Have a nice day. Yeah. Extra money, just like that. 
There is other ways of doing it, like you could just, uh, you could just shoot him and, and get the money back, but I like doing the speech check version better. Well, with all that being said, after talking to George and Howdy. getting some uh, repair kits and getting better guns, I think I'm going to call it a part there. I am ready for the next part of the process. Jerry has very important business to do. But, um, that'll be for the next part. Anyways, ah, I am Blue Rock Views. And, uh, this is Jerry with a boomer cap on. And we both hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Oh, one last thing before you go. Um, every Friday is when I plan to upload a Fallout New Vegas video. Last week, I, I didn't. Uh, Fallout New Vegas was acting a little funny on me. Had to reinstall it. It's working now. Uh, there's no... It hasn't crashed at all this entire session, surprisingly. So, um, anyways, uh, every Friday, I will upload another episode to Fallout New Vegas. So, check back next week, next Friday, if you want to continue the series. Or... You could check out the other gameplay series I'm doing on my channel. You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. <laughs>